Okay, here's a uh, here's a bit of a brain teaser for you. Uh, you you're stranded on a desert island. It's well, you know, just an island, and you're just you're there, you're alone, and three crates wash up on the shore. One is marked apples. One is marked oranges. One is marked apples and oranges. Now. All three of these crates are marked incorrectly. If you could only reach into one crate and f- pull out one, one, one fruit, one piece of fruit, how would you mark all of the crates correctly? Yes, you'd have to mark one apples, one oranges, and one apples and oranges, but that's all you could, you could just reach. Well, because that's all you can pull out. You can only pull out. Well, I know you're alone on the island, but... Well, nobody... Nobody told you. I mean, you just... That's all you could... Well, you don't make up your own rules on the... Well... Well, I don't know. It's just what the rules are. Why do... But... Okay, yes, yes. You're the... Okay, technically, you'd be making up your own rules, but... Well, then... Okay, yes, you could... Okay, there was some force preventing you from... From looking in the crates, then you don't really want this job, do you? I'm sorry, I know this is our fourth interview, but we're just not seeing the ornamental door frame specific experience in your work history that's required of our ideal prospective candidate for this position. We see that you have some customer service experience, but not some ornamental door frame specific customer service experience in a call center of this size in this region working for a catalog that I specifically put together. I'm sorry.